Previously on Big Brother, head of household Shima rallied her allies against her arch rival Russell. Russell is an expletive. He is a tyrant in this house, and he's got to go. It's that simple. But no one knew that Jeff had the coup d'état, the power to overthrow Shima's nominations. Thank you so much, America. I love it. And the house was buzzing about who had it. Somebody has it, and it's not Lydia, more than likely. Russell is up to something for her. He has the mystery power. Yeah. I, I still think one of y'all two have that power. Oh it's totally Jeff. Jeff. I it's think it's Jeff. Shima made it known she wouldn't be happy if it was used. If Jeff wants to see me wild animal style, Use keep that Russell armor. here. If he uses that, he knows it's going to be drama. But Jeff decided to do what was best for him. If the holder of the mystery power would like to use it, please stand now. Oh, oh snap. I knew it. <laughs> With the power in his hands, he targeted his two biggest threats in the game, Jesse and Natalie. I got the power, and you guys got to feel the pain a little bit. And when the votes were revealed, Jesse and Natalie were torn apart. By a vote of three, two, Jesse, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. At the head of household competition, the shift in power continued. Michelle, correct, congratulations. You are the new head of household. Who will Michelle nominate for eviction? And tonight, Jesse's eviction causes his allies to crumble. It's so good to me. And do you know he like prayed for all of us all the time? It all happens now on Big Brother. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> oh, wow. the holder of the mystery power would like to use it, please stand now. Oh, oh snap. snap. I knew it. When Jeff stood up, I was in complete shock, completely fooled. Thank you, America. You put it in the right person's hands. Now, Jeff, would you like to take Lydia off the block? I would like to take Lydia off the block. Come on off, Lydia. Who would you like to put in her place? Natalie. Next question, Jeff. Would you like to take Russell off the block? I would. Russell, come on off. Are you kidding me? I was speechless. It was a, just a shock and a relief. It was just an amazing feeling and it was indescribable. I was dead in the water and I'm back. Who would you like to put up in his place? Sorry, buddy. There it is. Jesse, you are now on the chopping block alongside Natalie. I am pissed. I am livid. I'm sitting there and I'm looking prim and proper and containing myself. But what I really wanted to do was wring his neck and to shout out loud, this is some. Jeff, you can sit down now. Time for the voting to begin. My thought process going into this was I want to use this gift that America gave me. Getting Jesse out was my number one goal, and his little sidekick, Natalie, his lapdog, was the only person to put up against him that I could get Jesse out of here. We knew you had it. We didn't know you'd be stupid enough to use it. You said one thing with this game you would leave is you would leave with your loyalty. That is what you said. Why are you two mad? Because you two are in the power of the no, house, I, I, and I you, decided no, to no, use no. it to take the power down. You're, you're right now, you're being power hungry, and you're not thinking about your game. Really? Keeping Russell in the game is not a good idea. Why not? He's going to take you out. Yeah, okay, great. You guys are all together, so if obviously... you're disloyal, it's fine. Disloyal. You made a deal with the devil, Jeff. I didn't make a deal with anybody. I used the power to advance myself in the game that we're playing. It was a good move. It, it is. I would have been out, man. You two are in cahoots. You three are in cahoots, so it would have been six and seven out. 
Yeah, you just took the target off Russell's back and put it that's squarely on yours. That's what you're saying? That's oh, what no, you think's going to happen? No, no, that's exactly what's going to happen. You don't know that? You have no Russell idea. Russell, kiss my ass. I was going out sixth. I talked to everybody. It was too little, too late from them two. You don't control anything, Shima, just so you know. So you, you just you sure. my power. You two were my only choice. Uh, you guys came to me too late. And I would have been out sixth instead of now I got a chance at 500,000 again. Because you guys were walking to the finals unless somebody did something. Nobody was putting you guys up. Nobody. Yeah, well, if you weren't playing the game, you'd look at it and say it's a good move. It's fine. I can play again. I can win again. And there's no power next week. By a vote of three to two, Jesse, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Jesse's a great guy. He's been nothing but decent and really great to me. I mean, he is like a great, great, great guy. And it just sucks because the ugly and the bad get rewarded in this game and the good just seem to go down in burning flames even when they do everything right. It just, it's, it's just not right. It really isn't. It definitely hurts to see him leave and to leave unexpectedly. It's kind of like a family member dying. And that just pisses me off that Russell gets to stay in this game when he's been nothing but a nothing but a who's lied, cheated, backstabbed. It's so not fair. No, hey, yeah, it's all right, buddy. Jesse dissed me as he was being evicted. He is exactly what America thinks he is. He is this self-involved egomaniac, megalomaniac. I personally was happy to see Jesse go. I'm bad, <laughs> He said it was going to happen and you wouldn't listen to him. You wouldn't listen to him. America did it to him again. When Jesse was evicted, I like couldn't even stand up. I didn't want to like give him a hug goodbye because it just means that that's real. Jesse didn't get in my head, he got in my heart. So if that makes me a weak player, I'll be a weak player. Why are you guys so angry? Because you guys lost some that's power in the house? Why shut the f up? We're playing a game, Shima. Jeff, you said if I go home in this game, one thing I will go home with is my loyalty. I, I You're right, will continue I am. to I be still loyal. Have it. You told me you were going to vote Russell out. So I, that was the deal. Okay, how about this? I didn't vote, so I didn't lie to you either. Yeah, no, but you did lie because you did, did not send Russell home, and that was the plan. I didn't vote, so how did I lie? Hey, to you? you can semantics if you want. You could semantics if you want. I didn't vote, so how did I lie? You could be mad that you lost the power Jeff, friend. Jeff, keep in this talking house. to yourself because I'm not listening. That's fine, Shima. I don't really want to talk to you either. This competition was both complex and simple if you had the nerve to pop a pimple. Michelle, correct, congratulations. You are the new head of household. Shima, hand over that key to the HOH bedroom to Michelle. Congratulations, Thank you, Shima. You're welcome. I won HOH. I've been waiting for this moment since I entered the Big Brother house. I was worried that, you know, I'm never gonna win HOH, and now I'm the HOH queen. Woo! Oh. Michelle won, HOH, and I was happy and I was a little distraught at the same time because I thought I had Russell. I thought I had him out of the door. I truly and honestly did. Maybe Michelle will come through for us. I don't know. I'm nervous as hell because Michelle is somebody I have had verbal arguments with in the past. I do need to start making steps with her. Out of all the people in the house, with Michelle winning, it is the most biggest question mark possible as far as what the HOH is gonna do. Who knows what's going on in Michelle's head? Me and Michelle don't have an official agreement in here, I think is the pinky swear, but we have a mutual respect for each other, which I think will carry me through this week, and that's all I could ask for. I, I really thought I was leaving. You have me so fooled. I 
had no clue. That was the best move of the game. I'll tell you that much. Jeff decided to use his mystery power, the coup d'etat. It really showed that he was willing to make bold moves in this game to get ahead and protect his allies. So kudos, Jeff. You could say what you want to do in life and talk and talk and talk. Unless you change, you got it. It will never change. And Jesse was walking straight to the finals. Four. So I opened the door up for everybody in the house, even though they don't want to see it right now. Nobody else was touching that money in this whole house. Just so before everyone starts throwing their stones and bashing me for no reason. She's gonna come at you now, just I don't care. I have to deal with it all week long. They're having a pity party because they don't have the numbers, they're pissed at me. Why are you pissed at me for? Because now you don't run the whole house, it's even. <laughs> How do you think we felt when every single one of our people left and we sat outside and nobody talked to us? Now you take a chance in the corner. Michelle's gonna put me up. I know, but not. No, they're all. It's them four. Like, they're all together. Oh, the, the people that were calling her crazy are up in their ear right now. You're absolutely nuts. I'm not you're, nuts, you're, Russell. You're crazy. You need medicine. You really think she's gonna That's be she, okay with Russell again? Yes. Yeah. You think I so? Think so? After all of that. I believe in karma. There's other, there's HOH next week, there's HOH the week after no, that. And you, you do know if I win again, Russell is going up again. And again, and again, until I get him out. I'll talk to Michelle. Make sure you don't come across like you're telling her what to do. The house would be better off without Russell here. All we can do is push Russell, push Russell, push Russell. I push Russell in front of Russell's face. You do realize that. Picture. You Michelle. look cute in that picture. You look so cute. I like your babies. <laughs> Michelle has two children? <laughs> no, that's my nephew. You're so cute, blonde. Is that the boy? Where is he? That's him. And that's See, my I... father-in-law and my brother-in-law. Michelle, your husband's so handsome. He is cute. There's a rat here. Oh, yes, he brought my rat. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this rat look real, though? It's funny to see how the other half of the house is trying to be Michelle's best friend. Now all of a sudden, everyone in the house loves rats because Michelle loves rats. They don't care. They're just trying to kiss ass. Letter. This is long. Michelle, I'm so proud of you. If you're reading this, then it means you've kicked ass in your competition earlier and won HOH. It's just impossible for me to tell you how much you mean to me and how much I miss you right now. My husband wrote a really thoughtful and amazing letter. We have an amazing marriage and I just love him so much. I know you've got a lot to think about in that house, but hopefully when things get really intense, you'll take comfort in knowing that no matter what happens, you have someone devoted to you who would do anything to make you smile. Keep kicking ass and having fun. <laughs> Anyways, I should go or else I won't stop writing. Love you, Tim. Aww. I miss him a lot and he just reminded me why I'm in this game and I know that he's at home supporting me and cheering me on. That was a great letter. Oh my goodness. I just thought she was gonna say anything she can. Put me and you up, we're like <laughs> Well, I'll give you my word on this. If by some odd chance me and you are both up there and, uh, and we are playing for the POV, if I win it, and I'll give you my word right now, I'll give it to you. Dude, I don't think we're gonna be up, man. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, if something crazy is to happen, both of us go up, and I win the POV, I will hand it to you, even though I'll still be on the block, and I'll probably go home. It's just about keeping your word, and you did to me. So it's kind of like, I'll keep going back and forth with you as long as you keep doing it with me. Okay, I think we're just getting paranoid. And if we're not, what am I supposed to do, man? That was my last play. I don't even want to talk negative like that, but if she wants to get me, she got me. 
Michelle is a little bit of a wild card. I don't know where she stands. I mean, she's really hard to read. I'm unsure what's gonna happen, but it's kind of a 50-50 crapshoot at this point. I'm just rolling the dice and I'm thinking, man, I hope it doesn't come up snake eyes. Shoot away at the questions. <laughs> I know you have a ton. I did fight with Michelle, you know, on several occasions in the past, and I want to try and start over with her. I mean, I feel that if I can get in good with Michelle, you know, Jeff, Jordan, myself, and Michelle can definitely um, flip the tides. My major problems with you last week were that, again, you told my secrets. Like, that was something I didn't really appreciate. Um, second problem I had was you acted in a sort of an aggressive manner when you were getting stories from different people and like, instead of talking to me in like normal fashion, it was sort of just a lot of yeah. reading. You're absolutely right. And um, I'm not gonna say that I didn't come at you that way. Yeah. But it's also hard because you're sitting up here and you don't know who's telling you the truth from every yeah. angle. I, I think I would have appreciated it, you know, if you had just come up to me at some point and just apologized a little bit early because yeah, of that. And, yeah, and um, I'll tell you this right out to your face. I'm sorry for my actions, but I'll tell you this, it would have definitely been squashed a lot sooner if... No, I know, we, we had some communication problems and... Part of it was my over. fault and I was, after two weeks of being ran around the house and no one talks That's to you. Cranky. <laughs> this house has made us crazy. Let's hug it out, man. Although me and Russell have patched things up, he's a little sneaky snake and I'm just gonna have to keep my eyes open and always be watching him. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're just gonna be eating Chinese all night. Mm-hmm. This is orange chicken, no? Want some Merlot? Uh -huh. It's uh, Jesse's. They pulled out Jesse's wine bottle because it's for Jesse. It's funny how, like, when they can evict one of our friends, it's okay. But that's why I want what's her name out of here. I can't stand her loud mouth. Hey, do you care if I eat out here? It's not gonna bother you. No. It's Kevin, so the man, your out. the myth, the legend, legend. Jesse. We only got a taste of you, but you are Mr. Spectacular. Yes. Yeah. Cheers, cheers to cheers. Jesse. See you guys. Now we all have to take a drink. <laughs> okay. No, no, they're making a toast in there to him. Dude, the guy oh, alive. He's Relax. Oh, he's dead. I know, dude. Relax. We're playing a game. Jeff and Russell in the final two would be the worst thing ever. I would rather see you, Jordan, or Herwin rather than any single one of them. That'd be sickening. I'd have a sick feeling the rest of my life. He had such a good spirit and such a good like, present soul. They just act like he's a saint. Dude, I don't understand it. I know certain people didn't see that. But yeah, I, mean, I saw it. I saw it too. Thinking about Jesse like gone, I just it just makes me want to cry because I know I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm gonna see Shima and I'm gonna see Natalie and Kevin and I don't get to see Jesse. You didn't even get a chance to try to stay. That's what, like, kills me. I know. I had so much fun with him, too. He was so much fun, even when he was kicking my ass. <laughs> this is so wrong. O-M-G. These girls are acting as if Jesse just got hit by a Mack truck and had been killed. I mean, he got evicted from Big Brother. He was so grateful for being here, too. And that's the thing, he never said anything bad about anybody in this no. game. This is redonkulous. Please, girls, the guy was an idiot. Shima, do you not remember that Jesse nominated you? Lydia, do you not remember that Jesse voted to evict you from this game? And Natalie, did you just not see Jesse get upset at me for keeping you in this game? Why are you crying over him? Ugh. He's so good to me. <sighs> and do you know he like prayed for all of us all the time? Remember he wanted to put me up? First week, remember that? 
He did, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he wanted me out. <laughs> he didn't deserve this. No, he didn't. The person that kept me here, the person that never spoke ill of anybody in this house is gone. And it's Prayed wrong. And the person who <laughs> talked about everybody in this house is still here. You know what? Jordan's never done anything to me, but what she has done is she doesn't stand up for what's right. Shima's crying, Lydia's crying. Oh, I love it. Dude, maybe they'll all just go home week and I'll go to the final four. Yeah. Huh? Anyone? Do they think that we don't have feelings, you know? I know. No. Yeah, I wasn't sad when everyone else went home. Yeah, what know? about our friends that went home? You're acting like he was like a... No, I Dude, swear to goodness, he turns water into wine. Safe. Thanks, America. You're real uh, stand-up people. <laughs> I'm so excited you got it, Michelle. You, you deserve it too. You've I been jumped up and I go, yes. <laughs> Do you have an idea? Shima. Or... Shima needs to go. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't want to put that in your head, but yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm even happier. <laughs> Michelle says she wants Shima out, which is great with me. She really makes every good moment in this house a bad one. You know, she brings just a rain cloud over everything she does, and I'm getting tired of it. Oh, she's the biggest threat. Wow. Unless the only the thing, thing to think to about, yeah, is to who to put up as the pawn yeah, so that they're then, less so angry. Go, Michelle. Dude, you I'm going to do a backflip into that hot tub. Dude, that just made me... You know what it feels like <laughs> Like, be on the other side? Yeah. Wow. This house is shook. Gather round, everyone. It's time for the Have Have Not competition. Yeah, you! <clears throat> Let's see what Big Brother has cooked up this week for the Have Have Not competition. Pair up and head to the backyard. <laughs> There's eight people left in the house, so the teams broke down into four teams of two. So it was me and Jordan, Michelle and Russell. On the other side, you had miserable team number one with Natalie and Shima, and then a the half miserable team was Lydia and Kevin. I see two huge slides into these giant goopy casserole pools and various casserole dishes strewn about the yard. And instantly I know, oh my god, we're going to have to taste these and do some sort of eating nastiness. Wait, what? In this have have not competition, we will all be working together to earn food and privileges for the week. Lately, the Big Brother house has seen its share of chaos, so Big Brother has whipped up some special casseroles, or should I say, chaoseroles, for all of us to enjoy. On go, you and your partner will cruise down the chaotic slide into our goopy oversized casserole. Somewhere on the table are two casseroles that have the same ingredients that match a podium in the yard. Each podium represents a day of the week or a luxury. In order to earn food for a specific day or win one of the luxuries, simply find and correctly place a pair of casseroles on its corresponding podium. When you think you've got it, ring the dinner bell so the next set of house guests can go. So who's ready to get chaos rolled? Woo! For once, we are all working together as a group to make sure that we could all eat. 
every single day of the week. Ready! Set! Go! Oh. We had to slide down the slides into this nasty goop and it was just sticky and it was gross. Oh. It's almost as nasty as Shima's bad attitude. Get tasty! Some of these casseroles are just nasty, but we just need to find two casseroles that match. Beef? Beef and what? Try a little bit of everything. Let them try. I'm just joking around. You can't joke around? Well, let them try. I mean... Get out of here. There's two cream cheese and sauerkraut. Do you want no cold showers? Yeah. Which one's that one? These two, eight and six, are no cold showers. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's up? I'm sorry, my hand's going in here. Jordan, use your fork here, your hands are dirty. Oh, this one's delivered. Oh my God. <laughs> That's something salty. One of the casseroles that I first tried was something salty and fishy. This oh, tastes like tuna. This tuna's is not even up there. Tuna. Oh, I think Wait. this one's liver. Look for chocolate. <laughs> I got that liver one. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! This is tomato right here. This right, is pork, right Kevin. Pork and pumpkin. When Lydia competes, she gets barky and more like, um, butchy. Pork and pumpkin. <laughs> Kevin, let's just go. It's totally different flavors. Go, 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 go! Hurry! This is chocolate right here. Bananas and chocolate. Shima and Natalie uh, sucked. They would walk down very gingerly. Shima would prance around and complain. Natalie would go, just go. take her time. Alright, let's... Hurry! Hey, this one's already show. This one's already show. Ring the bell. No, Wait. Do it. Just, just put it down. Ring the go, bell. go, go, go. Don't look at me. You're not good enough Don't to look, look at me. Don't talk to me either. Chicken, chicken, chicken and tomato. Chicken, chicken and, and tomato. tomato. Then put it on there. Come no, on. Please don't. Beets. Hey, That's beets. They say like beets. Kevin, let's just go. So there's 10 puddings and there's only two left to fill. It's this one. There it is. All right, nice. Good, good, good. Sorry. Kevin, or put those ones them. up and then check the rest. Let Lydia put them up and you check them. This is not for you. what he wants! Bro, oh, that's way! That counts! Three, two, one! That was hard. So at the end of the 10 minutes, we had to see whether all the casseroles contained the right ingredients for that day of the week or that luxury prize. Big Brother, did we match the correct casseroles for Monday? Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do not win food for Monday. When, uh, when they revealed the first one that we got it wrong, I was really nervous that we were going to be on slap the whole week. Did we win food for Tuesday? Yay! Yay. Wednesday? Yay. Yay! Yeah! Did we win food for Thursday? Yeah! Friday? Yay! Woo. Saturday? Big brother, are you gonna hook us up with a barbecue grill? <laughs> Do we get to have hot showers for the week? <laughs> no cold showers for us! <laughs> Big brother, did we win a steak and lobster dinner? <laughs> well, congrats, house guests. We get to have no cold showers. We won a barbecue grill 
and we get to eat every day but Monday. Congrats, everyone. Good job. I was shocked that we did so well. I thought we would want to get one or two casseroles, but we got almost all of them. So <laughs> good for us. We did pretty good. You love your blankie. If my house was burning down and I could only grab one thing, blanket. I've had it since I was born. What about born. your unicorn, Mr. Puppy? What's his name? Day Yum Yum. Day Yum Yum. D A E Y U M Y U M. He's named after a friend. Day Yum Yum. Is that like a cartoon or something? No, I just came up with it. Oh, you made it up? Yeah, I made it up. Oh, that's good. I made it up. Day Yum Yum. So, this is Day Yum Yum. He's two years old now. He's a boy unicorn. I keep Day Yum Yum with me wherever I go because he reminds me of home and my friends. And who wouldn't want to keep a little baby unicorn by them? Because he's so yummy and cute. You hear that, Day Yum Yum? Lydia needs to win something. Can I see Day Yum Yum? You promise you're not going to do anything cruel? Why would I want to? Do that. Don't get me wrong, America. I love unicorns and rainbows, but Lydia's uber obsessed with her day yum yum unicorn. The attachment with it, um, it's kind of cute, but not that cute. Ah! Does he have a sensitive Don't unicorn? Don't hurt my day yum yum. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Do you like Jeff? I do like no, 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 hold on. Do you like Jeff as a boyfriend? If he lived in Charlotte, maybe. Why are you looking at me like that? Russell, hey, I Jeff! She said she would date you if you lived in Charlotte. Yeah? Yep. He said if you lived in Char uh, Charlotte, I said it depends on the circumstances. Ow, ow! I said I might consider. What if I wasn't ready? I'm 22 years old, he's 31. He probably knows what he wants. I'm still going through that whole thing. I don't know what I want. Who knows if I would want a boyfriend. Jordan, you wanna get married? Yeah, Jeff. We're engaged. <laughs> well, I went for it. I proposed to Jordan. We're engaged now. Jordan be a great wife. She seems very down to earth, very country and homey. I'm happy Jordan said yes to my uh, romantic proposal. It makes me feel good. You better buy me a cute ring. Cute ring? One of us better win this competition. <laughs> <laughs> I want a square cut diamond, okay? And you better put a lot of thought into it. I'm gonna get you diamond grilled. No, I want a square cut diamond. You'll be happy with what I get you. I can't believe I'm engaged. <laughs> So where's your head at? Pete. Yeah, she was straight with me, because yeah. I would do the same with you. This has gotten to a point where I have a lot of friends in this house, and it just sucks because you run out of people you want to see leave. Unfortunately, I'm choosing between four people to put up, so. If you think by any way Russell's on your side, he's not. The things Russell said to you cannot ever be forgiven or just outweighed her. What Russell did, yes, he's done things in public, he's shouted, he's screamed, but there's many guilty parties in this house, no one's clean, and I am gonna do what I need to do. The only thing that would make you all happy is if I sent Russell home. I don't think you would make an enemy in this house if Russell went home. There was pretty much just three people I was thinking about putting in the chairs. One person in particular I want to send home. The other two people as pawns, so. Fair enough. Do what you gotta do. Now stay strong, Natalie. It's oh, not I gonna will. be a fun week. <laughs> I'm leaving. Knock, knock. Okay. Hello. Hey. I'm not gonna BS you. Uh huh. You're not gonna like my nominations. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not? Mm -mm. And it's so not Russell. You know, you're HOH, you do what you want. Don't think that just because he's not attacking you right now, it's not gonna start up again. 
I know. Ultimately, this game is about self-preservation, and by keeping Russell in this house, you will go home. He's shown time and time again his remorse means nothing. It's not real. You've been forewarned. You don't put him up, he's coming after you. You don't put him up, he's in Jeff's ear about you. Mm -hmm. He's gonna start right back up. Just know that. And he may be your end game if you don't put him up. I'm so, very aware of that fact yeah. as well. Being HOH is just a really tough job. You get so much information, you can't really sift through it and figure out what's real. Um, and you also get swayed by some of the actual valid points. With each second and each word, I feel like, oh no, am I making the right decision? But I've said my piece. I'll leave you alone. I know you have a lot to think about. Or you already made up your mind, whatever, either way. <laughs> Bye, honey. Congratulations. Want to make an impact in the Big Brother house? Now's your chance. It's time for America's Vote. After the next have and have not competition, the have nots will be eating what you choose, America. Which food items would you like to give the have nots for the week? Text the number of your selection to 81818. Text one for cucumbers and carp, two for minced meat and marshmallows, or three for churros and chitlins. One dollar per text message vote. Maximum ten text message votes. For free online voting, go to cbs.com slash bigbrother. Votes will be accepted until 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, Wednesday, August 19th. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. Michelle is a hard cookie to crack. I can't get in her head. If she doesn't put Russell on the block, I'm going to question her ability to reason. If Michelle sticks to her promise and puts up Shima, this will be great for the house because the Shima pet will be on the block. I haven't had to fight at all in this game, but now um, I'm definitely not safe. I'm at the very bottom, so um, this will be my biggest fight this game thus far. My nominations this week are going to be purely strategic, not personal. I have to remember who would take me to the end, who would take me to the final four, who would take me to the final two. Hi everyone, it's time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. I just want to say that we have spent a lot of time in this house together and we've all made mistakes in this game. We've all made lies. We've all <laughs> said bad things about each other. You know, this is just a game and please don't take anything personally. So let's begin. Jordan, you're a safe. Thank you. Jeff, you are safe. Thank you, Michelle. Russell, you're safe, homie. Thank you, Michelle. Kevin, you are safe. Thank you, Michelle. Lydia, you are safe. Thank you. I've nominated you, Shima and you, Natalie, for eviction this week. Shima, you are one of the fiercest competitors in the house. You're a fighter, and I respect you as a very, very strong woman. And if you're here, I definitely see you staying in the house and making it to the final two. And unfortunately, I would like to be in the final two, and I don't see you taking me. Natalie, 
I'm sorry, but someone had to be in the other slot, so here we are. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Now that I lost Jesse, my back is against the wall. I definitely am gonna have to show the house. I am a force to be reckoned with, and you better watch out because I'm gonna come guns blazing. Shima is the smartest person in the house besides me, and that makes her a huge threat. And it's really her time to go this week. How great is this? Shima's going from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. Karma's a bitch. Hey, it all comes back around. I don't care if I'm nominated. This game is I'm my friends are so as far as I'm concerned, I don't care. What will happen now that Shima and Natalie are on the chopping block? Tune in Tuesday at 9, 8 central to Big Brother when one house guest self-destructs and is removed from the game.